Splash is a nonprofit that designs water, sanitation, hygiene, and menstrual health programs with governments in Asia and Africa. With a unique focus on working with children in urban schools. In Splash India, we already had a very structured behavior change program that has been running in the schools for quite a few years. But during the lockdown for COVID-19, we couldn't reach out to the schools and engage our children. Hundreds of the schools that Splash worked with shut down, just like the rest of the world. But we were determined to look for the doors that had opened to new opportunities. And one of the things that we ended up pursuing was the creation of 10 digital films to continue our effort in changing behaviors to be able to improve the health and hygiene of kids worldwide. And to do that, we hired Girgit Studios. So Splash really loved the detail in the design process that we follow in all our projects. Uh, especially they loved the films like Amlu, Pehel, Muskan. These were all made uh, with a lot of sensitivity. So non-profits don't always have the luxury of budgets like corporates. And in the past years, uh, we at Girgit have mastered ways to work around these constraints and still design films that are loved by the audiences. So for Splash, we initially created a two-minute fundraiser film called A Promise to Keep. Uh, the film was done in 2D animation, but also 3D animation was used, but to look like uh, clay animation. Uh, the film was very well received by the donors and was loved by the senior management. However, the challenge this time was way bigger because we had to create five films of five minutes. Primarily targeted the Indian and the Ethiopian kids, uh, but through the development uh, process, uh, we have included a number of adaptations to align with the Ethiopian kids. We needed to share our thoughts and ideas with our children without sounding very didactic. We wanted the process to be fun so that there is a shift within and the children could actually relate to what is being told to them. We also wanted the new process to be modular, digital, so that uh, the personal contact is reduced. And this was not to replace our existing module but to reinforce them with fun stories. So the human-centered design process or the HCD process that we follow helped us get a grasp of such complicated design challenges. Tinker Labs, a design research organization based in Mumbai, helped us conduct these online HCD sessions with the children in Kolkata as well as Ethiopia. So the themes like safe water, hand washing, sanitation, these are quite common themes and most of the kids are smart and they already know a lot of things about these topics. So we had to level up our game in delivering the message we wanted to. So that's why the first round of HCD session was more about trying to gauge their present level of understanding of uh, these themes and in general their taste about music and the content they are watching online for each of the demographics that we were making the films for. We heard their stories, what they're feeling about the entire lockdown and pandemic and we also showed them some pre-existing films and understood their preferences in terms of the content. And we tried identifying aspects or nuances which were common between the two cultures like Kolkata and Addis Ababa. And we also were trying to find out uniqueness which could uh, route the content to these specific regions. The insights from these HCD sessions helped us narrow down on various decisions like the storytelling styles, the characters, the genres, etc. So for the junior age group, we decided to go with Muppets with some poems and songs to make the content memorable and fun for them. And we also thought of using some animations and motion graphics to reinforce on the important communications. We had never worked with Muppets in the past, but we are Girgits. So we adapt, we learn and we evolve. Avinash suggested we use a trio of Muppet characters like a goofy one, a shaky one and a know-it-all. So this archetypal combination of characters will allow us a lot of possibilities in storytelling. To add some fun, I suggested we name them Taka, Naka, Dhim, which are like popular rhythm names in Bengali kids. So the Muppets were designed to look 
abstract and as removed from human likeness as possible so that the same set of muppets can find acceptance in the kids of both kolkata and ethiopia lalon who is a experienced toy and game designer and a kids show presenter led the story development and the muppets development lalon had his own experience of working with muppets so he uh, explored various materials used their tactile qualities and took some liberties to finally make the muppets that the children loved so we developed some relatable scenarios and some hilarious conversations between the characters taka naka and dhim uh, surenjana translated them for us in bangla and she weaved in the important informational bits into beautiful poems and songs which were inspired from the pure nonsensical genre and classical kids literature that we found was popular in the kids we scouted hard and found some amazing voice actors two of them were actually kids who did a great job with the voice acting for the characters so we had to storyboard the films keeping in mind the constraints of working with muppets also the backgrounds that we designed were made to look like a uh, crayon made drawings by children the characters in the motion graphics and animations were styled to look like emojis which are understood universally so at the end of the day the only thing uh, that needed ethiopian adaptation were mainly the on screen texts The final magic was sprinkled when Shayok Banerjee added his music and amazing compositions to the songs. So before heading out for production we made sure we did a couple of more rounds of HCD sessions with the children we showed them the animatics the character designs recorded their feedbacks checked whether they are getting the messaging or not and then made some more tweaks in the storytelling in the dialogues and made sure that the content is bang on we had a intense week of shooting schedule and we thoroughly enjoyed puppeteering for the first time the muppets were shot against green screen and the animations and motion graphics were later on added in post production so all this pure joy of creating these films reflects in the eyes of the children who thoroughly enjoy the films during the hcd we found that the senior kids were quite aware about the social issues and they wanted to make a difference and they especially had a fascination towards the sci-fi genre so we thought of a premise of time travel where a teacher from the future comes to our present times looking for a team of motivated students who she would coach to become the leaders of tomorrow and that's how she will ensure a bright future during our hcd session with the senior kids we asked them that if they have the knowledge what is keeping them from adopting the good practices and then we used those pointers uh, to build the stories and through the stories we tried to motivate them to find creative solutions to the problems rather than giving in to the problems to make the characters relatable to the teenagers we ensured that each of them had some flaw which they overcome with the help of mohi and while doing so they discover some hidden qualities within them and then they use these qualities as the tool to bring change we made sure that the production design was done in such a fashion that the entire animation that we did for the kolkata audience can be reused for the ethiopian adaptations by just replacing the characters and some background nuances we designed a silver based motion graphic style to communicate the key technical concepts and a very little text based adaptation was needed for the ethiopian versions so these design decisions ensured we pulled off almost an hour long content in a matter of few months within the budget the splash team was extremely supportive and patient to sit with us on weekly discussions contribute their ideas and give us the context to ensure we are heading in the right direction you get strength in their stories and animation is what inspired us to partner with them but what we were pleasantly surprised by are a number of other strengths that they had their ability to engage students in the design process from start to finish 
their adaptation for different cultures and contexts as we were developing this for both Ethiopia and India, the ability to stay on track on time and budget, and equally important, their kindness, their communication, and their true commitment to collaboration. The Gilgit team was very uh, supportive, uh, understanding and open-minded in, in incorporating these kinds of uh, aspects. And they were uh, giving uh, attention to minor issues so that the cumulative effect could be very sound. Personally, I have been working with them for quite some time, from 2011, I think. So it's quite a journey. And it's always a pleasure working with them, the details, the storytelling is very impressive. My personal favorite experience is definitely developing the toys for the primary school children. Tata Nata Dhim, these characters, going for the crazy shoot schedule. And finally, what we got was fun. We continue to make more films for Splash. Right now we are working on two films. One being a film aimed towards boys, explaining them about menstruation. And the second film is about the importance of girl-friendly sanitation infrastructure in schools meant for the administration. Working on such challenging themes have not only become our expertise, but our love. Such projects give us immense sense of gratification and satisfaction. To be able to put our craft to good use, towards the betterment of the world. Splash and the students that we work with love these films, and we are incredibly thankful for the partnership with Girgit to be able to turn this vision into a reality.